Ha! Ah, yes. Well, this is continuing to my little series here. And this is going to cover the delusion of religion in general, uh, but more specifically Christianity. The problems with Christians and other religion folk is simply this. They're delusional. From a made-up storyteller from back in the day that's fucked in the head and made a fantasy storybook out of it and took advantage of people back in the day that believe shit, anything. Anything possible, they'll believe it. The problem is that your delusion combined with the delusion of billions of other religious people like you is hurting us as a species. It doesn't matter if you're kinda a Christian or a moderate Christian or a full-blown all-out Christian. Your delusion is hurting us. And that I and for that I'm telling and I'm doing is telling of the delusion of Christianity. The dictionary defines delusion as a fixed false belief that is resistant to reason or confrontation with actual fact. This is perfectly describes religion. Now, how do I know that Christians are delusional? You're gonna ask me that. Well, I'll answer it for you. Because the Christian story is just like the story of the Mormons and Muslims. You know, they're all different in their own little way, but they all have one thing in common. Magic. Hmm. Christina texted me. Alright. Anyways. And the ta in the Christian fairy ta tale, we have the magical ghost that inseminates a woman named Mary, whom has a magical son named Jesus. Then some magical star leads people to this baby Jesus, to whom performs all these magical miracles, which happen to leave behind no actual evidence whatsoever. But then this all-magical Jesus dies, and then magically is resurrected three days later. Then magically appears to people to prove his resurrection. But then magically he ascends into heaven, never to be seen of again. All this magic, along with the remarkable lack of evidence, makes it quite obvious. This is just a fairy tale. Just like the story of Jack's Magical Beanstalk. But hey, the four billion that aren't Christian look at your wall of delusion the same exact way that you look at the religion and stories of the Mormons. Of the Muslims. And we, the four billion people that aren't of religion, can see reality, and that the whole Christian story stuff is just imaginary fairy tales. As a Christian, you completely reject the Muslim and Mormons, Mormon story, but why? Why is that? Is it because you're a narrow-minded bigot? Yeah. But also, because they're fairy tales and everyone knows it. You know that every other religion is delusional. So hey, let's all together recognize the obvious here. Have a real little reality check with ya. Christian religion is exactly the same. Everyone inside the Christian bubble are just as delusional as Muslims and uh, Mormons. Every rational person can see that by standing outside the bubble of all religion. You must free yourself of this delusion. Why heal oneself from delusion? Because all the religious bubbles 
and groups harm us as a species. A planet full of delusional people is not healthy. Just look at how Christianity, Christianity skews your thinking. Issue number one. The delusion of Christianity makes you outrageously spawn superstitious. Chances are you believe in the power of prayer. Even though every valid scientific study shows that prayer has absolutely no effect, the belief in prayer is complete and utter superstition. Issue number two. The delusion of Christianity radically devalues, yes, devalues, human life. We, we re routinely send people into battle and war with the message that it is okay to die because once you die, you get to go to heaven. But in reality, heaven is completely imaginary. Again, no evidence, no nothing to support it other than a little story. A little fantasy book written by some fucked up dude. The belief in heaven is delusional. Issue number three. The delusion of Christianity replaces rational thought with dangerous mythology. For example, 60% of adults in America believe that Jesus will return and destroy the planet. Myths like these grossly skew your thought process and thinking and about the future of our species. They also slow the scientific process and progress. The list goes on and on of the delusion of Christianity. Christianity forces you to discard rational thought in many parts of your life. Your irrationality hurts us all. Turn your brain on and thought process on for a bit and ask yourself, why is it? Why? 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 Is it every scientific study shows that prayer is a superstition? Why is it that you as a rational human being believe in a completely imaginary place like heaven. Why would you believe in a being named God for whom there is no, absolutely no empirical evidence? Think rationally about your religion and you'll quickly see how delusional it is. With luck, the bubble of delusion that surrounds you will burst, and you will become a normal, productive human being. Although I don't see that happening anytime soon, too many irrational, bigoted, narrow-minded people out there. And so the, the delusion never... The, okay. The delusional never accept that they are delusional. They'll put up any excuse they can just to keep their eyes shut to reality. And it was even suggested that uh, we don't even treat it like a religion as a logical, reasonable thing to be demolished by arguments and reason. Instead, treat it as it is, a shell of a fox security that people have built around themselves for whatever the reason, be it a insecurity about one's social status or insecurity about the big question in life itself. This insecurity or fear, if you will, of the unknown and, and seemingly inexplicable is what gives this God delusion its power. So I was like, wow, you know what? He's got kind of a point, kind of like a point on that. You know, but for now, I guess we'll stick to it as is. You know, the main thing right now is science versus God bullshit. But he does have a point. 